What is up everybody, it's Crystal. I just wanted to make a quick video. Well, I'm hoping it's quick because I have a tendency to ramble. But if I ramble, I apologize, but everything in here has some merit and I want you guys to hear it. That's why I'm making the video. So if you can stick around through it, I thank you. Um, and you're gonna get some info. Um, <clears throat> wow, where do I start? I have bullet points, but I still don't know where to start. Um, as far as my scheduling goes, there's going to be some scheduling changes um, as far as guaranteed videos during the week. Um, I, right now I have it is that my guaranteed videos during the week will be on Thursdays and Fridays. <sighs> the reason that's hard is because, well, one, it's not... Right now I'm unemployed. Thank you. Thank you, America. Thank you, America, for making me unemployed. Um, but yes, I'm an unemployed uh, person, so I have time. But I do have other things going on. So when I first came back to YouTube, I was like, I got to have a schedule. Because if I don't have a schedule, I get all crazy and, and uh, stuff like that. And Excuse me. I end up making a bunch of videos... I just, I'm all over the place sometimes if I don't have a schedule. So when I came back to YouTube, I decided I was going to make uh, a schedule for myself. And I, it sounded like two videos a week was going to be easy because in the past, my videos were shorter because I was doing reactions to shorter content. I was doing reactions to um, Korean, excuse me, uh, to com Korean like music videos and stuff like that and Korean culture type things. And now the change going into doing shows like anime, Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, I'm finding the editing process takes a long ass fucking time. And my computer renders, takes forever to render, and my internet sucks, so uploading takes a long ass time. And I'm finding out that two videos a week guaranteed is kind of a pain in the ass for shows. Um, so I want to bump it down to at least Friday for sure you're going to get a guaranteed video from me. I know a lot of you guys with my Death Note anime really look forward to it, and I really like making them, but I just don't want to get burnt out on the content, you know, uh, just because I feel I have to do it. You know, YouTube should be a fun thing, and it is fun, and that's why I made this change of content into where I'm at from what I was doing before, because I was so burnt out on that stuff that I I just couldn't push myself through to do it anymore. That's why I wanted to do this stuff, because this is the stuff I am truly have always in my life been into, and <clears throat> or have been interested in, so that's why I want to do this type of content, but I don't want to get burnt out on it. So that's why I'm taking a step back. But being that I'm only guaranteeing one video a week, that's the video you're going to get. But I'm not saying you won't get more. If I have more time and there's stuff that I want to do, I'm definitely going to do that. Because I got Walking Dead. Well, it's just over now. But when Game of Thrones starts, I'm definitely going to be doing that. So you'll probably be getting videos from me on Sunday nights or Monday nights for Game of Thrones whenever that comes out. But you'll still be getting the Friday content. Same with movie trailers. When those come out, I'll do those. Those I can pump out pretty quick because they're not that long and I don't have to do a ton of editing for that. So you'll get those as bonuses and get your guaranteed content on Fridays. So, But I just want to let you know that I'm doing this to preserve my channel and me. Um, I know it might suck for you guys, but the editing really kills me. Um, in this and any youtuber at some point will talk about how you know for the viewer it doesn't seem like it's a hard job all you do is talk into a camera uh, if you're in a reactor you react to videos you you throw it together and then you put it on YouTube in general terms yes that's what happens there's so much going into it I mean I guess I could you know there are people out there that do really quick you know if you're gonna be a reaction channel do really quick reaction channels and just like do a shitty film job or something on their camera, upload it as quick as possible, and boom, it's done with no editing. <clears throat> yes, people can do that, and yes, it can be easy, but it shows in the quality of their work. Some channels get big by doing that. Hey, and more power to them. That's awesome. But for me, for me to be happy with my content that I put out there, I like to do a lot of editing. Jesus, let me get another drink. Hold on. <laughs> But for me to be happy with the content I'm putting out there, I like to do a lot of editing, a lot of this, a lot of that. I like to make my videos um, enjoyable to watch. 
like for me personally, if I can't watch my video and enjoy it, I'm sure other people aren't gonna. So why should I put it out there? So I really take pride in what I put out there. So that being said, it takes a while for me to put videos together. Um, and like I said, uh, I just don't want to get bogged down to the point where it feels like it's not fun anymore. So I'm taking that step back because because I'm unemployed right now. Yes, I can put videos out, but when I do find a job, you know, my time is going to get really limited. So I don't want to guarantee you guys something that I can't provide anymore. So that's why I'm doing this. Don't say, oh one video a week, why stay subscribed? I'm not saying that's all you're gonna get, but I'm saying that's what I can guarantee you. So, that being said, blah. <laughs> um, next point, uh, I got a lot of people telling me uh, in my Death Note comments, please don't read the comments, you're gonna get spoiled, and all this other stuff, and I, I can't not do that, okay? You know, one of the main things I like YouTube about is because I get to meet you guys. I've met a lot of great people. A lot of people I consider friends now, like that I talk to on social media, which I'll get into later about that, um, that are friends now that I met off of YouTube comments. YouTube comments to me are amazing because I can meet people and talk to people that have the same interests as me. Okay, and there's not a lot of people around here in my life that I can talk to about that stuff. So being able to talk to you guys is one of the paramount reasons why I love YouTube so much and being a YouTube creator. Okay, and so telling me not to read the comments goes against everything that I like about YouTube. Granted, there are trolls out there, and if somebody does ruin Death Note for me, it is going to ruin it for you guys because... If somebody spoils it for me, spoils some big parts coming up, I'm just going to quit reacting to it, okay? I'll continue to do reviews, but I'll quit reacting to it because, like I told you guys before, I'm all about my reactions being organic, real, and transparent. I don't want to put fake reactions up there or reactions that aren't my first, you know, unscathed reactions. You know, I want my reactions to be real. I don't want to know any spoilers. I don't want to this be my second time watching it, which makes no sense when I see people do react. Oh, I've seen it already, but I'm going to watch it again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but that's the whole reason is I, I'm not going to stop reading comments because I'm afraid of something, okay? If something gets ruined for me, it's going to get ruined for you guys. So I please, please, if you guys want to continue seeing me react to death note don't talk spoilers in my comments section because it's only going to ruin it for you and ruin it, ruin it for everybody but there are trolls out there and i i don't know i don't know what to say because i'm not going to quit reading comments but if it does get ruined like i told you i'm just going to go straight to a review format because doing a reaction would be pointless i mean in my eyes and my creative mind doing a reaction would be pointless when i already know what's going to happen and sorry if that pisses people off, but I'm just being real. Um, <clears throat> and as far as my content goes, um, I'm really happy with the where I sit right now with my content um, because I have a wide variety of stuff to do. Um, before I was, when I first started my channel, I was really just sectioned in on one small aspect of anything. And, it was cool, but I got burnt out really quick. Here, I got so much content. I got people telling me in the comments or on Twitter and stuff, other things I can do, which makes a lot of sense. And in the future, I would like to. Like, in the past three weeks, I've really gotten bombarded by a bunch of people telling me to do scary game reactions, you know, and stuff like that, which is cool and everything. Um, and I would like to do that in the future because it is something that I'm interested in. But two reasons. One, I don't want to become a gaming channel. So if I do do that in the future, I'll do it in handfuls, not like trying to promote being a gaming channel. Because I got a gaming channel that I don't do anything on, but I have it reserved for if I want to do stuff on it. But to sprinkle some of that in, I don't think it would hurt the channel that much, and it's something I'd be interested in doing. The only problem I have with doing that right now is I'm, I'm an unemployed, so I don't have the money to buy the games to do it. So... In the future, I, I definitely can see that happening. I definitely think it could be something fun because I do yell a lot when I play video games. I do get scared, 
and just those two things together could make for a good video for you guys to watch so I think in the future that could be something that comes um, just not anytime real soon uh, but yeah but like I said I'm just I'm happy with where my channel is now and I'm happy and I just feel comfortable where I'm sitting. It was scary starting out though, because when I came back after a year or two hiatus, I was afraid switching up my content because I'm gonna lose all these subscribers, but it wasn't something that I really wanted to do anymore. I didn't wanna chase that anymore. I wanted to chase the stuff I've chased my entire life. And I'm just happy with now everything's starting to equal out as far as subscribers go because initially I had uh, my subscriber base plummeted because when I came back I wasn't doing what I originally did and I totally get it and I totally expected that but that's why I took like a year or two off because I was like I wasn't ready to you know face that fear but I finally did and it's starting to equalize out now and I appreciate it I appreciate everybody who stuck around that is from my original fan base or I don't really like calling them fans their subscribers, people who like to follow me. So people who subscribe to me who, sorry, my camera <laughs> shut off. Um, the people that did stick around, I thank you so much for kind of sticking around and, and, and believing in me and, and wanting to follow me for my new content. And for people who just came back or who just subscribed to me, dude, like I thank you so much, seriously, for taking a chance by hitting that little subscribe button. It may not be much for you, to hit a subscribe button but for me I really appreciate it and everybody who knows me for a while knows I try to put the best videos out I can and I'm always trying to get better and uh, so stick around and dude I thank you seriously I really do from the bottom of my heart and the last kind of quick thing I want to talk about <laughs> is my social media I'm, I'm telling you guys to always subscribe to my social media and stuff I don't really talk much on them or, or do much on them besides like promote my videos and I want that to change because as you know as I was telling you with my YouTube um, channel comments I understand not everybody is a commenter on YouTube some people are really shy and they don't want to talk about it that much or, or write out a comment or some people are on their phones and they really can't comment that easily on their phone I really wish I had more comments because it's really the driving factor why I love YouTube so much and I wish I could talk to more of you because I have 23 plus K subscribers but I only talk to a handful of all of you uh, every time I put a video up and I wish there was more because I really like engaging with you guys and <clears throat> I looked at that and I looked at how much I enjoy that on YouTube and then I realized I have these other two platforms, two or three platforms that I have that I really don't use that much to really um, talk to people on or, or, or follow people on or, or really, you know, engage with people on. And I want to change that, you know what I mean? Because I've never been really a big Twitter guy or sometimes I get caught up in Instagram and do that for a while, but never nothing constant. And I want to be more constant with it. So people who are into that type of stuff and would rather talk to me on there come follow me on there because I, I plan on being more active and more talkative and and if you would rather talk to me on there do that but I would really like to talk to you on my YouTube channel so if you guys can build up the courage if you're a shy type talk to me because I will talk to you that's what I always thought was weird with channel I get it with channels that are huge because they get comments coming in so fast they can't even comment on it so I understand that but the channels that are like around a thousand subscribers, you know, there's a lot of channels I watch that have low subscriber count. And I look at, you know, watching their videos, enjoying it, and I'll go to comment and I look and they don't comment back. And it makes a lot of sense now because I always was confused why people would get excited when I'd actually comment back to their comments, which made no sense. I was like, why are you so excited? I'm just responding to you. You know, oh, nobody ever re responds, and I'm like, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, it's it's if it wasn't for the viewers of that video and the people who comment, their video wouldn't be doing that great. So if you took the time to comment to me, I sure as hell am gonna take the time to comment back to you. So, you know, it, it was always confusing to me why people um, don't comment back to their viewers. Their viewers are taking the time out of their day to support you. So. I take time, I, I especially with what YouTube's done for creators, they made this comment thing that it shows any new comments that come on all your videos in this little window. 
and that makes it real easy. So every day I at least take some time out of the day to sit down, comment back to as many people as I can. So, but I understand some people don't want to comment, but if you do, please build up the courage because I will talk back to you. And also same with the um, social media. I'm gonna get really more active on that. And if you wanna talk to me on that, talk to me on that too, because it's all about connecting with people for me. Um, it's never been about getting real huge on YouTube or anything or Twitter or Instagram. or anything. It's all about connecting with people who are like-minded. That's what it's always been about for me. So I wanna thank you guys, everybody who does support me. I love you all, seriously, I truly do. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video if you did. You're a champ. Champ, I say. Peace. <laughs>